Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Jesse Swift and today I want to share with you my review of the new horror thriller film starring Natalie Dormer in the leading role, and that is The Forest. Now, most of you probably know Natalie Dormer from her role on Game of Thrones or possibly The Hunger Games. This is her first time actually leading a theatrical release, so many people were curious to see if she can actually carry a film. And I will say that that remains to be seen, and uh, maybe we should give her another chance. But in this movie, she didn't do anything special, and she was not really a strong character. Now, that might be the fault of the director or the writing or both. Um, so let's get into the story first, and this is a spoiler-free review. Um, so I'm just going to go over the basic premise, something you probably would have seen in the trailer. Um... So there's, there's two twins here, there's Sarah and Jessica, and Jessica seems to be a little bit of the more disturbed twins, because right, it's a horror movie, you always have to have one of the siblings be a little bit off. And Jess goes to Japan, where there is a real actual forest that people go to to kill themselves and commit suicide. Now that seems like an interesting premise, even though it's pretty simple, and you just know that it's going to be filled with demons and angry spirits and things like that. And naturally, Sarah goes after her and goes to Japan and is completely out of her element and gets lost and trapped in the woods and gets to come in contact with all these creepy, crazy things. So once you get the concept of the story out of the way, this movie offers nothing original. The jump scares are a repeat. The, just the, the overall beats of the story are a repeat. And you can see every bit of the movie coming it's just predictable and it's not unique in really any way there's no memorable side characters um the acting was very wooden there's so i just uh, i didn't find a lot of enjoyment in the movie if you're still curious about this you want to see what natalie has to offer on the big screen you know go for it but i'm recommending you wait until it comes out on Redbox or um you know netflix or something like that don't rush out and pay full admission price for this film You'll just find it to be probably a waste of your time and money. And this is coming from somebody who has to sit down and watch a lot of horror movies. Uh, guys, to me, I don't know if you saw the Lazarus effect, but I put this in the same boat. What's my overall rating for the film? It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but certainly wasn't very good. It's a uh, da, da 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 super meh. I just didn't have a lot of feelings about it. Like I said, I couldn't tell you a lot of what I saw. Walked out of the theater already forgetting what happened. So, with that being said. Uh, I just want to, if you guys, have you seen it? Um, share what you thought down below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, may the film be with you. Always.